next mod I'm going to do is I'm installing a new phone mount. If you guys remember the last one I did, I had that cheap one that just went to the vent and had like the retractable arms. I liked it at first, but after a little bit, it stopped working. You go pull the phone out and it would stick. So the people at Proclips were awesome and sent me these to do a review on. So I'm really excited about that. Now, if you guys are um, familiar with Proclips, they have tons of stuff for pretty much any make and model and it's all custom fit. So there's, first off, you have to choose the, what mount you want. So how you want it mounted. And for our cords, they have three different ones. They have one that goes on the, like inside the cup holder, the front top, um, cup holder and holds it. Or there's this one that I'm choosing and it goes over the right vent in the center, the, the right one on the center stack. Kind of like where my current phone holder is, but this is nice because as you can see, it doesn't go into the actual vent. It goes around it. So you can still utilize the vent fully, which is nice. I hated the one I have where you can't change the position of the vent. And then after you select what mount you want, so there's those three choices, then you have to decide what phone holder you want. Now it depends on what kind of phone you have, but I have an iPhone XS. So for that one, there's, a few choices. I chose this mount right here and it's designed, like it says here, designed for small to medium cases. And I have a real thin case. This is good for like, they were saying OtterBox symmetry, like the thinner ones. But if you guys have like the OtterBox um, defenders, the big or life proof, some bigger case, they have a holder for those ones too, for the larger cases. So definitely check them out. But I'm really excited about this. It's great quality just by looking at it. And it's nice because once this piece goes on, then there's the whatever phone holder you pick it has the included screws here. You just screw it to it. And then this has a swivel on it even. And it's just nice. What I like about it, it's all custom for each car. So it's not one size fits all. So I'll put a link in the description below where you can go find these. Let's go ahead and um, we'll start doing this. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take the, the phone holder here and there's these two screws in it right here. You loosen those and then this thing slides open. So you do that because it's always closed all the way. So you open it up and then you fit your device in it. So, and you can see, if you see right here, right here on the side, there's like a little, how it goes in. Well, that's where the case slides in and out of. So, you adjust it to fit your phone. So now this right here, I, I pulled it apart and then fit my phone how I like it. And then I tighten it back down so that's ready to go and it won't move. Then if you ever got like a little, little bit bulkier case, then you can just adjust it. Like I said, this isn't for a huge case, but, or, or if you got like a slimmer case, it, it has pretty good adjustability on it too. And you can see, and it fits nice. I slid my phone in, I'll show you guys in a second. And it just holds right in the bottom. It goes right to the edge. So it's really good. So once you do that, then what you're going to want to do is screw this with the included screws here to the mount. You're going to screw it in here, depending on where you want it, if you want it higher or lower. So um, I'll go look, take a look in the car and see where I'm going to put it, and then I'll screw this together, and then we'll get, get on the install. Okay, guys. So now here's what you have. I attached the the mounting base here with the four screws they give you to the mount. So it's going to look like this when it's in the car. And it's pretty easy to remove this piece. There's a screw in here. You unscrew it, but it doesn't come out. It'll just keep spinning, but you loosen it up all the way and you, it allows you to pull this out like that. So you can attach the screws. Then you're, what you're going to do is just put this back in and then tighten the screw back down. So you have one unit like that. Okay. So I'll go ahead and screw that down really quick and hey guys. continue. So now we're in the car. So I went ahead and cleaned this area right here. And what you do is see this piece right here. You remove this little adhesive backing and it just helps secure it under here. And it doesn't leave any residue if you remove it. So it's safe. And then what it's going to do, it's going to fit in here in a little groove right in there. You can hear it pop in and then I'll show you the bottom piece. You can see right, right here. 
you're going to lift it up and it's going to go on this piece right here, the lowest part of the vent. And you can see it's maybe a half inch down. So you really have to like flex this to get it in there. So we'll go ahead, let me remove the adhesive back and we'll get the first part going. What I like about these mounts too, they have like a nice grain to them. So it kind of matches the OEM finish and not some cheap plastic. It's really well made. You can just tell it's solid, especially having to screw the mount to the, um, the phone holder to the base. It's really nice. Okay, so that's what you got. Took the adhesive backing off. So now we're just gonna line it up to this edge here. Okay, and it pops in, you, you'll hear it right there. It's popped in and I line it up just like that. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna flex the bottom so it goes, it catches on that bottom piece I was showing you guys, okay? You have to use some muscle here to do it. There we go. Perfect. Take this off and I'll show you guys. Okay. So then here's what it looks like. Really nice. You see right here, that's where it sits. So this fully functional. Yes, it's going to block a little bit of, a, of the um, airflow, but I mean, it still comes out on that side. You can still change direction up and down. And the other mount I had, this little thing, you can't do anything because it's stuck inside here. So this is so nice and it looks really good. And this swivels. Now, there's this, the screw in here, you can loosen it a little bit. It's pretty tight right now, but it swivels. So you can turn it exactly how you want. And then once you have it where you want it, tighten that screw even more and it will not budge. So it'll stay in your desired spot. Really like it, guys. Looks really good. Hey, guys. So here, here's the phone. Okay. Just slides down in there. Just like that. Really nice. And you can see there's like like the air behind it. So it doesn't rub against the side. It just sits in that groove that we were looking at earlier. Really like it. It's so easy to get out. I mean, you just pull it up, it's done. And it slides back in. And there's like, it has to be a notch down in here somewhere because you can fill it bottom out when it goes to the bottom. And the whole bottom's open. So you can easily plug in your device here. It's really nice. So guys, I'll put a link below in the description where you can pick this up. Like I said, I would definitely recommend this mount. It's just high quality. I've tried a lot of mounts too over the years and they're all good at first and then they fall out when it gets hot. Well, this thing is really nice. I mean, it's solid. It's clipped in there. You can't even budge it. I mean, it took a lot of work to get it in here because it has that flex mount on it. So if you flex it in and it snaps in here, you can see the little groove. It's nice. And then the top sits right in there. And I like it because you're not, I'm totally taking away this vent. I mean, you can still move it, which I like. So again, thanks guys for everything. Thanks for watching. Again, I'll put a link in the description. Please check them out. If you're looking for a great phone mount, this is the way to go. And there's so many options to customize it between the mounts and what kind of, like I said, you could have it mounted here if you wanted it out of the way here. You could even have one where you can mount it on this pillar. Depends what you want, but they're the ones to go to you know, for a nice quality piece that will last, will last as long as your car does. Thanks everybody.